Hi, this session we are going to talk in detail about K-Medoid clustering, another unsupervised clustering methodology, and another unsupervised clustering methodology that is free from outliers. Since it is also an unsupervised uh, method, machine learning methodology, so our intention would be to divide this uh, huge data set into smaller number of subgroups with the intention to reduce intercluster dissimilarity and to increase the intracluster dissimilarity. Before getting into the concept, let's clearly understand what a mean refers to and a median refers to. Assume this is the salary of a set of six people which is being given in an organization. How will we calculate the mean? Just we'll sum up all the values and divide by the total number of employees of the organization. I have summed up everything, divide by six, will get the mean of the data set. If it is median, what to do? Median is nothing but the central element. So we have to arrange all the elements in ascending order. If it is even number of elements, just we have to take the middle two elements, sum it up, divide by two, and that will give you the median of the data set. Comparing mean and median, with why median is said to be advantageous in what respect? That's the next question. Now let us assume a seventh employee has entered the organization whose salary is not comparable with an already existing set of people due to some reason or other. Assume the salary is given to be 1 lakh while all others are considered to be in the range of 10,000 to 20,000. In which case if you calculate the mean, just the summation of all the salaries of seven people divided by the seven, that will give you the mean to be 27 to 85 which is not incomparable with the six employees. So uh, the addition of one one value which is just an outlier of the data set creates much more huge impact on the other data also. But if you think of median, just since it, it is just a central element after having arranged all the data that you have or all the instances that you have in your data set, if you arrange and take out the middle element, it's just 16,000. You could see uh, the heavy difference between the mean and the median by the intrusion of some outliers of your data set. So that makes k-medoids to be more efficient rather than k-means algorithm in which case you have a lot of noise and outliers in your data set. What is the process? In all the clustering algorithm process remains same. In all partition based clustering you have to fix up k which is going to be and you have to randomly select those k leaders, apply appropriate concept and when you end up with the same number of clusters and the same elements within the cluster in the subsequent epochs you can stop doing the algorithm again and again. The same concept, the only difference in the concept is the application of corresponding methodology. First assume k, the number of clusters to be formed then assume k leaders you can pick up k instances from the data set and that will form the first random leader set by using any of the distance formula calculate the distance between each of the cre created or selected leaders to the instances so those will form a distance matrix m to the corresponding leaders once done so just by assuming the fact that every instance has the capability to become a medoid just you can think of assuming another instance which is not there in the leader set to be a medoid now and consider these newly created medoids to be the new leaders now calculate average dissimilarity that you have arrived till now if the average dissimilarity of the distances that we have calculated using this new leader is greater than or equal to any other midoid, that is any other in the sense what you have calculated earlier, we say whatever we have now is itself a optimal midoid that could be taken for consideration. If not, go back and then try calculating the distances between the different instances and the different leaders which is nothing but the midoids that you have chosen so it in the in a way like if you are not satisfied with the subsequent iterations you can keep on changing the midoids to any of the elements that you have in the data set 
since it, the process may go infinite one more possibility to stop iteration is to identify or to fix up the number of maximum iteration that is possible in a way to stop the number of iteration how to calculate the dissimilarity among the instances there are uh, multiple formulas available if all your values are numerical we can go for calculating using min quas key distance which is the pth root of the summation of the differences a variation of that is manhattan when you replace this p by 1 and eclodian when you replace this p by 2 and what are the metrics similar to your k means clustering the metrics that could be used for validating your k methods is also sum of squared distance error metrics so after having found or settled with the clusters we have to find out how sum of squared difference among each and every cluster if it is too minimal we say inter cluster similarity exists and hence it is a proper cluster that is being formed let's see one example a solved example for this assume this is the data set we have around 8 points and two attributes the values of two attributes for the eight points is given over here and this is the distance matrix calculated using eclodian distance formula how to do that how this 5 is being arrived it is among the distance between 1 and 2 so the distance between 1 and 2 what is eclodian formula you have to subtract these two and the difference has to be squared so 2 minus 2 it is 0 then 10 minus 5 it is 5 that square so it will become 25 finally sum up both the things take the square root that is the result of this we will see one more how this is being formed it is the distance between it is the dis, it is the distance between the second instance and your third instance so 2 and 3 has to be compared now 2 minus 8 which will be 6 squared 36 5 minus 4 which is 1 36 plus 1 it is 37 so sum up it is 37 so when you take a square root it is coming around 6.08 something so that's how this distance formula is being arrived and when you come to epoch 1 the value of k which i have assumed to be 3 and i have randomly picked up 3 instances from the sample data set so these are the three instances which i randomly took and these are the distances eclodian distances that are computed using the method we have seen earlier to all the eight points see you can see 8 comma 4 is one among the data set where is 8 comma 4 yeah it is the third element so on hence if you see third element to third element it is zero because you are going to subtract so zero squared minus plus zero squared if you take a root it is zero that's how it is zero here how come this 8.4.485 it is between 1 and this point so 8 comma 4 belongs to 3 so it is between 1 and 3 between 1 and 3 what is that you have 8.48 similarly the distances are calculated and here also if you see 2 comma 5 would be there in the data set just by eclodian formula we have arrived at the distances and here too now how to identify into which of the cluster belong to you take this row the first uh, the element instance 1 okay so the intra cluster distance you take element 1 the dissimilarity with cluster 1 is 8.485 the dissimilarity with cluster 2 is 5 and the third is 8.06 whichever is minimum the second cluster right so that could be taken up as the destination cluster every instance it has to be compared to the minimal distance between your all the three given clusters and hence accordingly it has to be chosen so this is also second cluster if you look at eighth one which is minimum it is also second cluster <coughs> and hence the clusters are being formed so the first cluster is formed by three elements the first cluster is formed by three elements the instance 3 instance 5 and instance 6 so that's how this is first cluster this is second cluster and this is third cluster and uh, a total cost how to calculate the total cost just this is being 
put into cluster 2 using the dissimilarity value 5 right so the second instance is being put into cluster 2 using the dissimilarity value 0 the third is being put into cluster 1 using 1 sorry 0 the sec it is being put into second using this value so all these value have to sum up and that becomes your total cost total dissimilarity value of the entire clusters now randomly i am going to choose some other midoid so instead of 8 comma 4 now i am going to choose 7 comma 5 as my new midoid keeping the second and the third instances as such have the flexibility to change that also it's fine but uh, now as of now i'm changing it's only to the first midoid so again the same formula is being applied this is the occlusion distances between the distance as 0.7,5 and all the instances and we have find found out into which of the cluster it could be taken up and hence we arrived at these clusters now you check the total cost of the system is 15.906 so it is nothing but the summation of all the dissimilarity values that are taken into account which is nothing but the deciding parameter for the cluster so now you check this total whether this total cost is less than or equal to your previous cost what is the previous cost it is 17.120 now now it is 15.906 and hence this could be a better midoid compared to your previous midoid likewise in the next iteration i am choosing one another instead of 7 comma 5 now i have chosen one another midoid 6 comma 4 and i have done with the same set of operations this is iterative until you end up with the same cluster elements again this is the cluster we formed you see the cluster is same as previous right from the second epoch also it remains the same and hence you can stop with the iteration yeah so we end up with same clusters in epochs 2 and 3 hence we can stop here hope you could understand the difference between k-means and k-midoids clustering